Australian farm is Emu Ridge, where Larry Turner produces eucalyptus oil. So this is this is what you do instead of farming sheep. Instead of farming sheep, yeah. Once the island had 48 distilleries, but now Emu Ridge is the only commercial distillery in South Australia. You want to be careful there's no koalas in there, mate. Koalas are all right, it's them black snakes that you worry about. When you pick them up and they slither off your tray. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is backbreaking physical labour. Making eucalyptus oil is hot and hard work. Yeah. How good's that? And another one. Oh, good. <laughs> So how much eucalyptus does come out of one boil? About eight litres of oil. From Is that right? half a tonne of leaf. And we do three a day, which about keeps us max. Tell you what, she uh, warms up when that fires up, doesn't she? Yeah, no, it's good, isn't it? What are you doing with that total fire ban? Go fishing. <laughs> While this is on the boil, you can harvest leaves for the next batch. I thought these were trees. Yeah, like no. they're, they're like little shrubs. So what do you do, just cut them off at the bottom? So yep. you cut and I pick them up, is that how it works? Yep, that'll do. All right. Um, if I see any snakes, I'll let you know. Oh, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> and they reckon this stuff is a miracle oil. It has hundreds of uses, including rubbing into sore and overworked muscles. I actually haven't found too many blokes that can keep up with me yet. Is there an easy way to pick this stuff up? Absolutely, and that's not it. It's a matter of getting all your stalks. Yeah. And that's usually just over your shoulder. And I'm on the trailer. Right. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's easier than shearing, I bet. It is. And it smells, smells a whole lot better. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you there. Kingscote is the capital of Kangaroo Island and it's a bright, bustling town. Population, 1800. Down on the Esplanade, looking out to the mainland, is the Ozone Hotel. The original pub was built about 100 years ago. The new waterfront apartments, they're a real surprise. Beautifully decked out and roomy enough for the whole family. And of course, being on the waterfront, the views are magnificent. At the end of the day, you'll be so pleased that this place is laid back because your days here on the island can be action-packed. Andrew Neighbour runs KI Marine Tours out of Kingscote and he gives an ironclad guarantee. You will see breathtaking scenery and you will swim with dolphins. Here's one coming straight from the bow, here. look. There we go, there there there. All over the joint. Isn't that sensational? All right, guys, before we go in the water, we just, just have a look at these dolphins and just, we'll just go around them and have a bit of a look at them. But if we can enter the water as quietly as we can, like minimal splashing, and just basically float around and let these guys come up to us. If they don't want to, they won't. But if they're interested, they'll come and have a look. And while seeing dolphins is one thing, swimming with the pod in the crystal clear waters, seriously, it's just amazing. They're so unbelievably close. These guys are the bottlenose dolphins, they're the inshore dolphins. Pod size is around 25, and uh, yeah, they're an average size. That is just remarkable. No, it's fantastic, isn't it? They're always here? Yep, these guys are here every day. You can set your, you can set your watch by them. They're naturally inquisitive. They, uh, they'll fish out at night and they'll come back in here in the daytime and just relax and swim around. So we sort of cruise into their area and have a bit of a float around with them and let them come up to us. And I'm sure in his language he said, G'day, Coxie, because it was... <laughs> I heard the noise. I thought, yeah. I've got a hell of a fright. To top it all off, you get to share your close encounter stories with the others on a beautiful secluded beach, eating the freshest seafood. Just perfect. On the southern side of the island, another group is enjoying a secluded beach. This is KI's number one tourist attraction, the Seal Bay Conservation Park. 
The park is under the control of the Department of Environment and Heritage. My guide is Ranger Clary Kennedy. So how many sea lions are up and down this beach? Uh, there are six to seven hundred Australian sea lions that live in the Seal Bay colony. So this is home for them. Um, they also prefer to go out for a few days, maybe two to three days on average, and forage day and night, and then they'll come back and rest on land for a similar period. So that's why these guys are all asleep. They're all basically They're, exhausted. This is the bedroom, yep. They've all come back to rest here on shore. This is the third largest colony of Australian sea lions in the world. And to visit them in their home like this is quite incredible. Um, they also pup here, so all the, the pups are born on shore, normally up behind the, the dune areas here yeah. and up around the rocky areas to the west. And uh, they'll have one pup every 18 months, basically. There is only one way to participate in this truly unique experience, and that is through a guided tour. You can see the animals are pretty relaxed about us being here because they know we're going to stay that 10 metres away and they can get their rest while. What about the pups? Well, they're curious when they're young, so you can have pups approach groups on the beach. If that happens, we just stay still and, and keep calm, and normally they'll just have a look and then they'll walk off again. This amazing experience, I promise you, is one you won't forget in a hurry. Thank you very much. Look at this spread. We really are the lucky country. We've got the rock, the reef and the roo. Kangaroo Island with all this beautiful fresh food and wine. Why would you want to be anywhere else? Really. Till next time, cheers. Cheers.